Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over some of the latest updates in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. It's been a few months since our last update video, and Doodly has a big new one that just came out, 2.7. And this update allows users to use custom characters that have been exported from the new People Builder software. People Builder is a standalone program and it's sold separately, but you can also use it to create custom characters in other image formats for websites, newsletters, flyers, and anything else. I even created a custom character for my iPhone's lock screen. So let's go back over here. I want to point out that even if you don't have the rainbow add-on, your People Builder characters can be used in full color. So for example, I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to turn Doodly Rainbow on and it's going to change them to full color. And this is true even if you did not purchase the Doodly Rainbow add-on. As you can see, you can make custom characters with various skin tones, genders, body shapes, hairstyles, poses, facial expressions, and clothing options. And it's super easy to use. Be sure to visit peoplebuilder.com to learn more and check out the tutorials for a deeper dive. Another great improvement in this update is the ability to delete multiple fonts and sounds at the same time. So for example, let's go over to sounds. In the past, you could do them one at a time by right clicking and choosing delete. Now, If you had a whole bunch of them that you wanted to delete at once, that's a pain. So for example, let's say I want to get rid of some of these older voiceovers from other projects. All I have to do is control and command click to select them and now that they're selected I'm going to right click and choose delete and it's going to delete all of the ones that I've selected and they're gone. The same is true of fonts, same process. I did want to mention a few older updates as it's really easy to overlook them. Oftentimes I'll quickly update Doodly without paying much attention to what's new as I'm sure many of you do. Here's one that I like, the ability to insert a scene anywhere on the timeline. In the past, you could only add scenes by clicking this plus button, and then if you wanted it to appear at the beginning, you'd have to drag it over. And while that's easy enough, if you had a lot of scenes, it was a pain, trust me. So now with this new feature, all you need to do is go into your timeline in the area that you would like it, right click and choose insert. And now I have my blank scene right here. Now you may have noticed that you do have a save as option now over here when you click the drop down button by save. Well, now you also have an option under the file menu to save, save as, close, or export. Plus, there are now shortcuts. So if you need to save something, you just do control or command S to save. Control or Command Shift S to save as, Control or Command W to close, and Control or Command E to export. So if you like keyboard shortcuts, you're gonna love that. Here's another one that I really like. It has to do with our fonts. In the past, if you wanted to update your font, if we go way back, you had to delete it and then start over from fresh. And then they added a feature where you could change the font by dragging it on top. And that was great because that saved a lot of time. But now with one click, you just, you have your font selected and now you can just go through them. And that's so much easier and I love it. And finally, here's one that I missed and I'm so glad that I found it because it's really great you can now add a custom background on the glass board. So if you go into settings and you want to turn it into a glass board, you click on glass board. And then now if you go to background and browse file, instead of just only having the hand on the glass, you can add a custom image. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And I like this one. I think it'll look really pretty. And here it is. So let's just take a quick preview. I have my custom background on a glass board. And that's what's new in Doodly. 
Thanks for watching.